love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone could know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up a family car and the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends. There to greet Clifford and Emily. Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. supposed to go in there. I'm not sure why, boy, but that's the rule. Hey, Emily, let's skateboard to town and get some ice cream. Sounds good to me. Bushes Emily, Elizabeth, and Charlie found. See that one over there? <laughs> it's a rhinoceros. That one looks like a rabbit. These are great, Clifford. Where do you see this? I'm Cleo. <laughs> Have I ever stared you wrong? <laughs> That's great, Clifford. Now watch me. Remembered, we're not supposed to be in here. We're not? No, that sign means we're supposed to stay out. There's a human on that sign. That just means that humans can't come in. It doesn't say anything about dogs. I don't know. I don't think anyone is supposed to be in here. Hey, <laughs> come on. 
Come on. Have I ever steered you wrong? <laughs> well, as a matter of fact... Never mind. It is pretty fun in here. So let's play tag. Not it. Not it. Come on, Clifford. Can't catch me. Okay, ready or not, here I come. <laughs> that was a great place to play. It sure was. I can't believe we've never been there before. Do you guys smell something kind of funny? think it's me. Maybe there was something in the field that made us all stinky. Oh well, it's not so bad. <laughs> Whoa! Phew, those dogs really stink. You've been rolling in stinkweed or something. I think you all better go home and get a bath. Go on. Stinkweed? Of course! There was stinkweed in that field. Woo! We really do need baths. I can't go home and get a bath. Emily Elizabeth will know I went in after she told me not to. I don't want a bath either. Mr. Kibble will just make me smell all fruitified. Too bad we can't just get rid of this smell ourselves. That's a great idea, T-Bone. It is? Sure. If we get rid of the smell ourselves, Emily Elizabeth won't have to know I went into the field. Don't have to go to the groomers. <gasps> and I know just how to do it. Follow me. Okay, guys, time for a bath. But you hate baths, Cleo. I hate water baths. We're gonna take a sand bath. Let's go see. We're gonna get rid of the smell by ourselves, guys. We better just go home. Yeah, it's bad time for everyone. I guess we should have stayed out of that field after all. Hey, look at all the people. 
Here comes Emily Elizabeth. Hey, Clifford. I heard you guys got into some stinkweed today. <laughs> I can smell it, too. That sign in the field meant that no one was supposed to go in there, Clifford. And now we know why. Everyone else knows why, too. And they all want to make sure that you guys get a really good bath. Okay, everyone, time to rinse. There's my T-bone. Smells so nice now. That's my good little girl. Oh, everyone makes mistakes, boy. But I bet next time you'll remember to follow the rules. Right, Clifford? Woof. going to paint a picture. So he got an easel, canvas, and paintbrushes, just like a real artist. Speckle was already hard at work when his friends gathered around him to watch. Luna admired his blue cloud-filled sky. Rabby thought the flowers were so pretty that you could almost smell them. And Reba and Darnell said they couldn't have made a better tree themselves. Everyone said the painting was wonderful, but Speckle thought there was something missing. And he knew just what it was. Quickly, he painted Reba, Ravi, Darnell, Luna, and himself into his picture. And all his friends agreed that now it truly was a perfect painting. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> He's wonderful, Mr. Bleakman. Elizabeth, would you and Charlie please take your ball and your king-size canine and go find something nice and quiet to do so I can finish planting my potatoes? Yes, Mr. Bleakman. We're sorry. Yeah, we'll be really quiet now. Thank you. 
Come on, Clifford. Let's go. Well, this game is quiet and dull. Yeah, I'd rather be playing ball. Mr. Bleakman sure can get grumpy sometimes. That's for sure. Sometimes I wish he wasn't our neighbor. Mm -hmm. Hey! Where are you going, Clifford? Oh. Is that Mr. Bleakman? It sure is. I took this picture last summer. Clifford had just gotten a new inner tube to play with. There you go, Clifford. It's all yours. What's all the commotion over there? Clifford got his new inner tube stuck on his nose. Oh, the poor puppy. Puppy? Horace, you've got to help him. I know. I'll see what I can do, Violet. Oh. Don't worry, Clifford. Mr. Bleakman will help. Now, let me get a better look. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe if I just let a little air out of it. Be careful, Horace! You did it, Horace! Thank you, Mr. Bleakman! Oh, <laughs> it was nothing, really. Yes, it was. I'm gonna get my camera and take a picture. You're a real hero, dear. Woo. Okay, you two. Smile! I guess Mr. Bleakman isn't always grumpy. I guess not. Hey, I even remember once when he was kind of fun. You do? Sure. Remember when I got a pogo stick for my birthday? I just couldn't figure out how to make it work. Dad says you just put one foot on... Then the other, then... Whoa! <laughs> Let me try, Charlie. Go ahead. <laughs> Here I go! All right, Emily. Elizabeth? Thanks. But the real trick to staying on a pogo stick is balance. Do you know how to do it, Mrs. Bleakman? Oh, heavens no. But Horace here used to be a real champion. Hmm? He did? He did? Will you show us how to do it, Mr. Bleakman? Please? We could really use some help. <laughs> You see, you need a real firm grip. <laughs> I still got it, Violet! Wow! He's really good! He was voted best pogo sticker at our grammar school three years in a row. It's really not that hard once you find the proper balance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
How do you do it? Please, let me try, let me try. Oh, show me, I wanna know. <laughs> we sure had a great time. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Not like today, when we have to play checkers instead of ball. I had fun playing checkers with Mr. Bleakman once. You did? Mm-hmm, when I had the chicken pox. I felt fine, but I didn't have anything to do. Oh, this is awful. I can't go to school. I can't play with my friends. I can't even go outside and play with Clifford. I am so bored. Hello, Emily Elizabeth. I was just in the mood for a nice game of checkers. Would you care to join me? I'd love to. But I have the chicken pox. I don't want you to get sick, too. Oh, don't worry about that. I had those spots a long time ago. I can't get them again. So, let's play? Great. Can I be red? Black goes first, you know. I know, but red is my favorite color. <laughs> red it is, then. Mr. Bleakman really did that? Mm-hmm. You know, he might be kind of grumpy sometimes, but most of the time, Mr. Bleakman is a really good neighbor. Remember the time he spent the day with Clifford? They had lots of adventures together. Hey, my hat! My paints! My masterpiece! Clifford, help! Oh, Clifford, move! <laughs> Thank you, Clifford. You saved my painting. Uh oh, Clifford! That was really something. Uh oh! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Clifford! That was absolutely the most fun I've had in years! <laughs> <laughs> they came home the best of friends. Yeah, I guess you can't blame him for being upset about us messing up his garden this morning. Why don't we go over and see if we can make it up to him, Charlie? That sounds like a good idea. Whoa, 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 whoa. Phew. Now that's a perfect garden. Woof. Oh, no. Hello, Mr. Bleakman. We just want to apologize again for bothering you this morning. Well, thank you, Emily Elizabeth. Is there anything we can do to help you with your garden? Well, now that you mention it, there is one thing. What? You can come back in about three months and share a batch of homegrown potatoes with me. Wow, that sounds great. We'll be here. Okay, Clifford, you can come too. I think we're doing something wrong here. Maybe we should try working together. Good idea, Clifford. It's worth a try. Okay, then. Let's do it. Yes! 
Yes! Working together as a team makes playing more fun for everyone. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is work together. <laughs> supposed to go in there. I'm not sure why, boy, but that's the rule. Hey, Emily, let's skateboard to town and get some ice cream. Sounds good to me. Bushes Emily, Elizabeth, and Charlie found. See that one over there? <laughs> it's a rhinoceros. That one looks like a rabbit. These are great, Clifford. Where do you see this? I'm Cleo. 
have I ever steered you wrong? <laughs> That's great, Clifford. Now watch me. I'm a moose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me do one. <laughs> You're a tumbleweed, T. Yeah! I'm tumbleweed! <laughs> Wait, I just remembered. We're not supposed to be in here. We're not? No, that sign means we're supposed to stay out. There's a human on that sign. That just means that humans can't come in. It doesn't say anything about dogs. I don't know. I don't think anyone is supposed to be in here. Hey, <laughs> come on. Have I ever steered you wrong? <laughs> well, as a matter of fact... Never mind. It is pretty fun in here. So let's play tag. Not it. Not it. Catch me! Okay, ready or not, here I come. <laughs> that was a great place to play. It sure was. I can't believe we've never been there before. Do you guys smell something kind of funny? Yeah. Ugh. I think it's T-Bone. Hey! I think it's you! I think it's me! Maybe there was something in the field that made us all stinky. Oh well. It's not so bad. Whoa! Phew! Those dogs really stink. You've been rolling in stinkweed or something. I think you all better go home and get a bath. Go on. Stinkweed? Of course! There was stinkweed in that field. 